All right, so this is going to be a quick video just uh, showing a kind of interesting new way to do trees, uh, to represent trees, and actually this uh, nice website to, uh, to make syntactic trees. Uh, so uh, we've been looking at syntactic trees in this visual format, uh, which is great and very easy to parse visually, but it can be hard to generate, especially on a computer. Uh, there's another way to represent them, which is we can see here in this text using square brackets and labels and a little bit of other code. Um, I'm going to show how to how to build one of these in a second. Uh, the basic idea is both of these, this sort of bracketed text version and the uh, visual version, uh, are both ways of showing how to group bits. Remember, in syntax, a big part of our job is to identify phrases or groupings of words that have a structural and a semantic coherence to them. Okay, so uh, here's one with this is a wug, and you notice it's got a sort of abstraction over the noun phrase there. Let's try a new sentence. Let's try, we will parse this sentence. Now, this... Uh, This website likes to have it right have the thing. So you put square brackets around a group, and you put the label at the at the left edge of this, separated by a space from the next thing in it. Uh, uh, as you see here, without that little wedge thing, it just has a line from the S uh, to the whole thing. That wedge is sort of stands in for the triangle, meaning this whole thing is a sentence. Uh, but of course, we know that a sentence is composed of a noun phrase. Uh, which in this case is the subject, I'll make that a grouping, we, and a verb phrase. There we go. Okay. Uh, and we can keep going further. The noun phrase we is actually composed of simply the noun we, like so. The verb phrase we can break down. It has an auxiliary will. Uh, and it has a verb parse. Uh, notice the closing brackets are important. If I don't have them in, then, then the uh, tree looks a bit wrong. Uh, this sentence, that's a noun phrase. I'll just put that with a, oops, I need a space in there. Okay, and then I can break that down. This sentence has the determiner this. It's a demonstrative, which is a kind of determiner. And has a noun. Oops, I'm going to leave that final period off just for convenience. So there we go, we've built it into a sentence. Now, I don't know about you, but for me this this bracketed version can be a bit hard to read. I I find it easier to write than, than manually drawing all these bits. It's a bit harder to read though visually. If I really dig down, I can see that you know, for example, here, this noun phrase with the noun in it, you know, you can kind of look for matching brackets. So here's an auxiliary and a verb, opening and closing brackets, noun phrase with its components there. So the verb phrase uh, contains all of these things. And then the sentence contains everything. There are ways to read it. Uh, you will occasionally see things written this way. Uh, it's easier to read if it's a simpler sentence. So if we had something like uh, sentence, um, close with that, close with that, right? Sentence like that. That's a bit easier to read. It's still a little bit daunting here. Um, anyway, so that's that's kind of fun. And if you ever need to produce a syntax tree uh, for yourself, for, for something written, uh, I like this website, this mshang website, m mshang.ca slash syntree, S-Y-N-T-R-E-E. -E. Uh, there's options. There's different things that you can do with it. You can uh, make it black and white like so. Uh, you can change the sizes of things, right? Uh, you can choose so that terminal lines just means they're 
is or is not a line between the final word category and the word itself. Uh, there are different styles of these sorts of trees. Um, you can get a, a link, uh, hyperlink to the tree that you've made. Uh, you can use different fonts, lots of different options. Okay, and, <clears throat> and of course you could get help on this, right? And uh, there you go. So s a bit more on syntactic trees and a different way to represent them with these square brackets. Hope that's interesting.